Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Deja Monet. I make t-shirts and I sell all types of apparel. You can check out my website in the link down below, mahoganyboulevard.com. And I also included a little discount for you guys if you want to save some money. Anyways, in today's video I'm going to be making one t-shirt order and I figured I would just film this really quickly so I could show you guys more of the process like after I make the shirt and after I like package it up and me going to the post office. So that's what this video is going to be. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will stop talking and get right into the video. Okay, so I just set my heat press to 350. It was originally at 320. The vinyl is on there, but it's not like in I don't know how to explain it. The vinyl isn't completely pressed, so I'm going in and out of focus, but I'm going to press it again on 350. All right, so this is what the final shirt looks like. Let me bring it up close so you guys can see. It's kind of dark in here. This is what it's looking like. This is my Curly Girl Season shirt, if you couldn't already tell. First things first, we have our hang tag. This is a size medium shirt. So all I did was put a, a size sticker on there and this is how my hang tags are. What I'm doing here is I'm flipping one of the sleeves inside out and there's this extra piece of fabric here, like very small where the stitching is. And one of you guys actually told me that that's where I'm supposed to press my hand, or that's where I'm supposed to put my hang tags in. So I've been doing that and actually 
like it much better. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna take my needle, push it right through the seam, and click. And it's on there. Before we fold, I forgot to lint roll. I don't see too much lint on this shirt, but you never know. So next, I'm putting my business slash thank you card in. And I forgot the tissue paper. I'll be right back. Okay, so next, I'm just placing the shirt right in the center and praying that it'll fit. All right. Now I'm just taking my sticker and sealing the package, or not the package, but you know, sealing this shut. Like so. This shirt is a little tall. Um, yeah, it is a little tall. Hopefully you guys can see what I just did. Basically, I just tucked in like the top portion so the shirt wasn't sticking out too much. This is what we look like. So now I am going to grab my poly mailer and slide it in. I'm also gonna be putting in my discount card and their packing slip. And I like to take one final look at everything just because I like to see like what it looks like before I close it up. Next, we're gonna peel off this adhesive backing and make sure everything slid down all the way. Now all that's left to do is put on my logo sticker. Like so. Very cute, very cute. Logo sticker and now I'm just going to put on the shipping label. All right, so here we have the finished order. I put the shipping label on the back and crouching down for the sake of this last clip, but here we have the finished order. Now I'm going to run this to the post office before they close, it's about like 4.30. So they are closing very, very soon in about like 30 minutes. So let's go to the post office. All right guys, so I'm on my way to the post office. It's like a three minute drive, so I should get there in time. It's 4.50 right now. It's super hot. I have the AC off so I could film this clip really quick. I have a mask, it's in my bag, but I just cannot bear to put it on right now. I'm gonna put it on right before I get out the car, but yeah. So that's the update. Where's the package? I think I put it in my bag. I'm at a red light. This is the package in all its glory cute okay i'll see you guys when i get to the post office i don't think i'm gonna end up going up to the front desk because it's really no point you have to wait in a long line just to hand on the package and they are gonna do the same thing that you would do if you just dropped it off in the little slot but nonetheless i'm going to the post office and i'm just going to walk it in so i could drop it in the slot 
and they can deliver it or not deliver it but they could um ship it by five okay i'll see you guys in a sec Alright guys, so I just dropped off the package. It was no line, but um, as you guys can see, I just dropped it off in this slot. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications and share with a friend. Love you guys.